Hello, my name is Ian Scott and I'm here to go over the style of slide guitar with an emphasis on the technique of damping. Now, before I go into that, it's probably a good idea to go over some of the history because it's always good to have a bit of background knowledge about um, the techniques that you, you play. Uh, so it's thought that the style originated in Africa, but the, uh, the technique of slide, the style wasn't really known until the 1920s with some of the old blues guitar players such as Robert Johnson. Although the style wasn't, you know, fully popularized until about the nineteen fifties, with uh, where it was popularized by the guitarist Elmore James. Um, slide guitar it can be played on a bunch of different types of guitars, such as lap steel guitars and resonating guitars, or just like in my case, a normal electric guitar. Um, slides can be made out of different materials. The traditional ones are brass, and in my case, glass. I, I'm using a glass slide. Uh, they can come in different uh, um, shapes as well. You can get them squared or beveled, but again, this one's just traditional rounded style. That seems to be the the normal one. Um, so um, when it comes to playing slide, the first thing you should know is what how what finger does it feel most comfortable having the slide on? I know a lot of people tend to play it with the slide on this finger. I prefer to have it on my pinky finger, and that's just purely because I like the idea of being able to play other things while I'm doing slide. It's just more interesting to play and, and more varied that way. Um, also, um, you should also slide, a lot of slide songs are played in a variation of different tunings, uh, mainly open tunings. I just tend to play slide songs in standard because if I'm playing a show and there's more than one um, slide guitar song in it, uh, I can just learn them in standard. I go up and play them in standard tuning and I don't have to waste time, you know, switching to an open, uh, changing to an open tuning when I'm on stage. So it's switching between the two and whatnot. So it's just, I find that very convenient and a useful skill to have is to know how to play slide tunes in standard. Uh, yes. So on to how to play with slide. So once you've figured out what you, you want to play, what fingers you want to play with and whatnot, um, what you do is you take the slide and you very lightly just place it on the strings on on top of the fret. Not between the frets like um, a normal, like you would play with a guitar normally, but it has to be on the fret. Uh, and then when it comes to picking, you do not use a guitar pick, you just use straightforward finger picking. Um, and that also helps with uh, controlling what um, notes you want to pick as well. That's very important when it comes to damping, which we'll get into later. Um, the reason you use damping is because without damping, um, you know, all the strings pick up on um, the slide and they just resonate and you get a lot of unwanted noise, uh, such as, so if I do that like this. doesn't sound very good at all so damping is a very important skill and technique in order to control what notes you want to play so it's very important and that's why when practicing I like to use a glass slide because um, it resonates more than a brass slide so when you're wanting to practice um, going over damping it lets you know more where you're making mistakes so you can fix those later and lets you know um, so that's why I prefer using that a, a glass slide. Um, so for damping, what you do to control is you put your index finger on lightly on the strings above the slide. So above meaning towards the neck, towards the head. So that control that stops noise coming from the strings this side of the slide because you don't want them coming out either and on your picking hand what you want to do is when you pick a note you let that ring for as long as you want and then you lightly just touch the string that you just played to cancel that noise out before moving on to the next note uh, this is so that you cancel that out before moving on because so that the two notes don't clash it's like just like this just like that so I'm going to demonstrate this technique 
uh, by playing an excerpt from the song Slow Ride by Fogha, I'm going to play the solo section. And so pay, when I play this, play, pay very uh, careful attention to what I'm playing with regards to the damping techniques. Okay? Ready? So that's in regards to the damping technique. Now, when it comes to playing chords with a slide, it can be, um, you know, it's got, it's quite different from how you normally chords because, you know, this damp, you know, this being over all the frets, you have to play frets in a vertical style. You can't just, you know, use bar chords. So I've found that um, when you're playing minor chords, you're just using the top three strings, the E, B, and uh, G strings. Um, so open is just E minor, first fret is just F minor, uh, third fret G minor, fifth fret A minor, uh, eighth fret is C minor, uh, tenth fret is D minor, and then back to E minor at the twelfth fret. Uh, it's very similar for the major uh, chords, except it's just you just go up by another string to the other three strings. So it's uh, the B, G, and the D strings. So open, it's just G major. Then on the second fret, it's A major. Fifth fret, C major. Seventh fret, D major. Ninth fret, E major. Tenth fret, F major. And then back to G major at the 12th fret. And that is the basics of slide guitar and uh, the damping technique. Uh, I hope this video has been helpful. I've been Ian Scott and thanks for watching.